Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to this little corner of Father's Vineyard. You guys, I know you're used to hearing music all the time I'm talking, but this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to play a couple of songs. I'm going to play one I wrote, and then after that, one Chuck wrote. But first, I'm going to talk to you for a minute. We're used to morning sessions being pretty laid back and quiet, but I am on fire right now. I feel like Father is saying, oh, yes, you can, to his people. Oh, yes, you can can. And here's what he's saying. Oh, yes, you can about. Oh, yes, you can hear me. Oh, yes, you can hear me. You know, from the very beginning in the Garden of Eden, Satan was asking, Lucifer was asking Eve, really? Did God really say? And he's never stopped doing that to God's people. And I feel like God's been saying to say to you guys, I know some of you already know Father's talking and you can hear him, but I know I get way too many people that are writing and saying, I can't hear him. I can't hear him. And Father's saying to you, if you are following him, if you are doing what you know to do, if you're, if you are one of his, oh yes, you can hear him. And, and, uh, what I feel like Father's saying is everybody just has to make up their minds because that's a stumbling block in so many of God's people's lives because they get stuck on how they're going to hear and if God's even talking to them and all that kind of stuff. We have to choose to either listen to what the enemy's saying, which is, did God really say, or you can't hear God. We have to listen to either what the enemy is saying, or we have to listen to what God's saying. We're going to trust in one of those two uh, entities. We're either going to trust in what Satan's saying to us, <clears throat> excuse me, or we're going to trust God. And what God's saying to us, my sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. It isn't a matter of, well, maybe they hear my voice. Well, I'm not sure if they can hear my voice. I don't know, but some of them do. And only these certain ones. No, it's nothing like that. His sheep hear his voice. And when we get past the stumbling block of not knowing how we hear him, when we just get to the place where we absolutely decide, yes, I do hear God. I haven't recognized how he's talking to me yet, but I know he is. Then we have made a major leap forward in our relationship with him because we're no longer looking at ourselves and going, what's the matter with me? And why am I inadequate? When I know that I'm doing everything I know to do, I'm spending time with him in his word. I'm repenting. I'm, I'm following the best I understand. I'm fasting. I'm praying. I don't understand. I don't then make the decision right now. Oh yes, you can too hear his voice. Oh yes, you can. God wants his people to recognize that he's talking and not making it a, make it a question of if he's talking. I understand that we need to be walking in obedience and humility before him. And we need to be careful because just like the enemy whispers in our ears, you don't really hear God or whatever the lie is, whatever the deception is, just like the enemy does that to us, we have to start realizing God is talking too. And so put down the stuff, the junk, the garbage that says, I can't hear God. Stop saying that to yourself and stop saying that to other people and stop letting the enemy tell you that in your head and agreeing with him. Don't agree with him anymore. If you're struggling to hear God, don't agree with the enemy anymore and just make, close the door on that and say, Father, I I know that you have said your sheep hear your voice. I'm doing my best to hear your voice. I don't know how you're going to talk to me. I'm going to stop trying to limit you. And instead, I'm just going to say, you said you would direct my paths. I'm going to believe you. You said your sheep hear your voice. I'm one of your sheep. I believe you. I'm going to believe, God, that you are able to get past all of my human inadequacies and all of my failures and all of my frailties and you know how to speak to me. This is so important. I'm going to use, oh goodness, I thought I was going to, this guys, this might be a little bit longer morning session than usual because I want to say this. 
got a, a call from a friend of mine yesterday, and we've known each other for years, and uh, she has, and she's probably going to listen to this podcast, but she has, uh, her, her, uh, two adult children, two of her adult children and their spouses have been ill and some of the children have been ill and she was calling for counsel. And here's what the Lord told me while she's telling me this stuff. He said, I've already, I've already given her I've already spoken to her about this. And I said, when you prayed, what did you hear? And she said, he said, she said, well, I felt like he said, trust him. I said, yeah, okay. And did, what else did he, what was the trust him? Was the trust him to go and do a thing or was the trust in, trust him to trust and wait on him? And she said, well, I felt like it was to wait. I said, then don't do anything. You're praying, just trust him. <clears throat> Excuse me. A few minutes later, her one of her children who was really sick called and another one of her children had taken food to that family. And just through the course of events today, I get a phone call or a message that says they're getting a little bit better. So see, sometimes we don't, sometimes we look at people and say, well, you hear God, but I don't hear God. But if we are father's kids, and if we are doing our best to follow him and all of those things I said, if we're really staying humble and trying to hear and, and walking in obedience and repentance and prayer and spending time, he is absolutely talking we just have to get past where we go, I can't, and instead get to the place where we say, I can too hear God. You guys, that does not mean you're not going to mess up and mistake his voice for the enemy's voice. It means you're going to learn how he talks to you, and you're going to learn when it's your voice, when it's the enemy's voice, and when it's God's voice. But the starting place of all of it is to say, oh, yes, I can can hear God. Now I'm going to play and it, it is going to make the uh, podcast longer this morning. You guys, I'm just so, I'm so excited for some of you. I feel like there's going to be a major uh, uh, breakthrough, I guess, into a different, a different understanding about who God is and how he loves you. And oh my goodness sake. So, okay. So I'm going to play glorious. It's a song I wrote years ago and my family did all the arrangement and the recording and I sang it and, and they did all the background vocals and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to play El Senor Chuck's song. And we are already at almost eight minutes. This is going to take us long today. I hope you'll stick with me. If you can't, that's okay. Just please know we love you. We are praying for you and oh yes you can hear God. Here we go.
Okay, you guys, this was just kind of a little preview of the message that's going to come out later on today. God bless you guys. We love you. We hope you'll tune in. I, I apologize for the length being so long, but I don't apologize for what I said because God told me a long time ago, don't ever apologize for what I tell you to do or say. <laughs> we love you guys. We'll see you later today, hopefully. God bless you. Bye for now.